the this is this are the sequence that I have collected hymenokit Salme Orientalis and various hymenokit along with our outgroup Pelinus Coltricia and Hindoporia. All these are outgroup. Same in case of I L S U. We have Pelinus Coltricia and Hindoporia. So this is the uh, this is our files. Now we will close it and after downloading it you should download a software called bioedit you can google it it is easily available everywhere in the google like bioedit go here and you can download from here or you can just go to the official website here bioedit.com and download from here so after the downloading file after downloading you will your file may look like this if you if your default folder is if your, if your default app for opening pasta file is this but I choose to keep it like notepad so that's why I do open with that's why you have to open with every time you want to use bioedit so open it with bioedit sequencer alignment so we will first do the ITS and then we will open it with our bioedit sequencer alignment editor so this, uh, this this can actually show you what your sequence is as you can see here so this is the sequence name and this is the sequence that we're using <coughs> So in future when we are going to do further analysis uh, this name with this uh, columns and this various special characters other than number and uh, alphabet are going to disturb so we are going to change the name first. Let's change our name to simply Heimlkit ITS. So we're done with it so we'll save it and we are going to do the same thing for so we're done with it so we'll close close it and we'll do, we'll do the same thing for LSU So now we're done with it. Let's save it. So for the sake of understanding, I will. I'm going to change the name of one of the sequence so that you can know. For example, this. I will put some special characters. You can see. And save it. So later you will see what will happen if we put these special characters. So let's start with our sequence alignment. So first we'll try with the cluster analysis alignment. So cluster multiple alignment. <coughs> let's go and we'll keep all this default because we are just doing this for uh, educational purpose. If you get uh, more experience, you will know what to do with all this stuff. So for now, let's just keep it like this. And let's run it says log file will be generated in C by the temperature this temp folder so now this is aligning our sequences so it is done with the sequence alignment so now 
we have to see how much sequence are similar so up to this we can say that most of the sequence are similar so we will delete from here because this remaining sequences are ambiguous that's why so how we are going to do that so first go to take click this edit and then left click from here to here sorry from here to here and then just press delete so it's gone and from here also we will choose um, right up to let's choose light like right up to here and delete so now that we are done with alignment and editing we will save it save alignment and it will ask us where to save and we will save it here in amino kit sequence our folder align and we will save it here s i t s line a l n l u s t a l so our process for class tell so we will use class tell class tell so we will simply use c for class tell and we can close our this program and then again we have to do the same thing for uh, LSU open and this C so this is cus cluster and we will save it in FASTA format sorry I forgot to mention before we will save it in FASTA format so now we're done with this again we have to do another type of alignment another type of alignment that is MAFFT which is widely used by most uh, people so just go to this website JP1 MAFFT CRV CBRC JP okay Japan so it's made in Japan so browse here select our file the unaligned one non-aligned one ITS just keep them just don't do anything here select this same as input and we are going to get align and the length of the title length should be around 50 okay we will choose this and then we have to we don't have to do anything because this new auto function is available in this website so previously this was not here so we can do we can just select this one now after this we're going to change this one specifically because we're going we are aligning closely related delete dna sequences that's why so let's change it to k2 on pam k2 when closely related dna sequences so we don't have to do anything here let's just run submit so the use of this mafft is that this can tell you if your sequence is reversed or not for example sometimes when you get newly sequenced uh, dna you might get uh, reversed and forward forward and reverse direction so this can tell you if your sequence is in forward direction or reverse direction so you can see that most of the sequence are in forward direction okay so we don't have to change anything if we have reverse direction then we have to change the sequence using the bio did <coughs> so we don't have any reverse sequence so we will just close it and we'll get the FASTA format here and then we will download it in 
align all files we have this is our ITS and we are using MAFFT we will save it like this and then again we have to choose another file here that is our LSU so we, it is in progress we have to wait for some time will automatically load so we don't have to do anything so now it is done with the sequence alignment so what we're going to do is we're going to check if we have some reverse sequence or not and then so we don't have any reverse sequences so that's good now we will download it faster format lsu maffd so now we are done with both type of alignment and in our next lesson we are going to merge two sequence that is ITS and lsu and do the further analysis thanks for tuning in thank you